didn't mean those things i'm sorry doesn't matter anyway we've been here one time too many wonder what will happen back set that's a, a turbocharged hit from Boyer. Let's go. Boyer just so physical. One of the biggest jumpers in this tournament. Yamamoto again. Just a wonderful pass. And an even better block from Boyer. Wow. Oh. What a move by Boyer. A better blocker out there. And just like that, Boyer makes a solid move and gets his big right hand well over the net. Chin and Yeze. Sends it down the line, Ishikawa picks that up, Ishikawa will swing into the block and they got a chance here, France. Brizard, tight angle, demolished by Boyer. Oh, they're level. One of the highest flyers in the entire world of volleyball. Just crushes that oh. one. Expect to see much the same, but yeah, if they can pass the ball a little bit better, could equal a few more point opportunities for them. Oh, my don't serve. They've no back in. Using his football skills to uh, keep this going. There's the crunch. Boyer with the first opportunity to power one down here. But this swing. So sharp. Well, Kavogo goes again. And Luati with that pass. And that's what Boyer would have wanted to Much better result that time for Boyer. Great serve from Chin and Yeti, forcing the overpass. So France can make sure, take their time, sending it into Boyer, 8-5. What a swing from Boyer. Kavogo, number 14, the blocker here, gets tripped up a little bit. I was just thinking, I wonder if he's, uh, Coach Gillen is having a little think about bringing Jean Patry in here, if this carries on much longer. Rizal will now try and set up Boyer and uh, right on cue Boyer says no you don't need to be changing anybody. I have a nice in-system attack you see really only one block. Either down the line destructive hit. Boyer goes cross court and is equally destructive. Sakita can't pick it up. Japan need a side out here. Cool. And they're gonna have a chance at it as well on the overpass. Away it goes. Huge, huge serve, and he's finished his own work there. Boyer. A late surge now coming from France. Starts with the service pressure. Forward. Didn't make it playable. Goes it in again. Oh, it's another great serve. They all couldn't pass off the reception. Overpass did Comtan Jufoy here. So it's been given as a, a clean out. Lewati can go to the serve line. Cameroon pick it up. And over there, top of the ball there from Hill. Uh, the chance was missed, and France punished them. 17-11, big lead is opened up now in set one. Boyer with his fourth point of this opening set. Again, out of the back row. So about Tilly. And set to Boyer. Now Boyer getting the start at the opposite position and placed back in front. Lavia down the line. Luati picking that up. That's too good. Boyer able to come in when his number gets called. A huge chance. We know he likes to go aggressive with his serves. Engapeth takes it really well and Boye finishes it off, but a lovely pass from Engapeth. As Boye gets that point from the right side in system in the front row. Engapeth at 7 10. Set one. That's a real beauty. Micheletto couldn't deal with it at all. Romano setting from a mile back and it's just push over and hope for the best here for Italy and they get the block. It's Engapeth again, uh, setting Boye, who really ripped through that. Boye's starting to go through the gears here. Have to set your opposite, especially at this level. Credit to Italy for stopping Chininese's first attack through the middle as well. That's a very important side note of this matchup.
Can Japan protect this lead? Can they build on this lead? Onodera wobbles it over the net. Rizar looks around. Chinenyeze is contained. They're scrambling. Boye. Oh. He's rescued France there, Boye. Broken play. <laughs> Yoshida has to run this ball down as it goes over Sakita's head, but they both stop. Ishikawa with a rip serve. Boye will take this one on a long way off net and uh, takes it off the block nicely, side out. Ishikawa rocketed that serve. Nishida, they'll be looking for number 17. There he goes again. Klevno's done well this time. It's a nasty one to deal with. Oh. And a lovely finish as well from Boye. And Klevno gets a few out of boys from his teammates there. Klevno to pass this. And then Boye attacking again a little bit lower. Goes under the block of Onodero that time. But we're level. And they'll go off Rengapeth again, who again has to handle it very well. Boye will take this one on, and that's too good a hit. Formation. Grabenikov had to set that ball. France is lucky to score that point. Sakita. Klevno with a really good take this time off a very, very soft serve. And that is, that is the problem with the Sakita serve. They, they, they just don't really challenge. Not a team with the caliber of France, especially with their service reception. Yamauchi. Engapeth picks that one up. Incoming. And a real hot swing there from Klevno, but it's picked up again. Boye is able to take that, and Boye will look for the cross court and dropped it nicely between the feet of Akihiro Yamauchi, who just could not adjust in time. Something we haven't seen very much of him do. Cody needs a huge serve. France picked it up really well. Oh, Cheeky went over on two there. Brizard backslides it. Boya gets contact on the way through. Three of them. Just on the. Cameroon have never won a match at the World Champs against European opposition. Tony Uti with the dig. And assisted Boya. Oh, yes. It's all about the direction and the control. Just an absolutely great angle. Tony Uti, uh, Boya goes into Illy there. Just a clever shot there. Side of the block.